Hey, how's it going guys? It's Spearfield7. Today I'm bringing you some news about the August 2017 offerings on PS Plus. Frankly, like this summer it has been really good. We've been really getting a lot of great titles every single month and uh, I really enjoy the service. Um, there's kind of a lot of heat on the internet and on Reddit and stuff about the cost of it, but it's still cheaper than stuff like Spotify and Netflix and I'm cool with paying, you know, three, four dollars a month to go online and have the opportunity to play games that I always wanted to try but never really wanted to buy. So. In the background, you're watching your boy uh, strap on the cleats for a game of Modern Warfare Remastered last weekend. Played it for a weekend. I'm nervous about COD World War II. Uh, I'm still honestly to this day debating whether I'm going to get the beta. I don't know. We'll see. I might just show up and post like 12 videos in one day. Uh, this channel is unpredictable like that, so definitely stay tuned for all of that information. But without further ado, let's get right down into the news. Basically, the two PlayStation 4 games that are free next month are Just Cause 3, which was really shocking to me. It's a game that came out December 1st, 2015. It's an action-adventure video game developed by Avalanche Studios and published by Square Enix. Uh, basically, it's an open-world third-person game where there's a huge-ass island, it looks pretty good, and you can just go play the story or run around just destroying shit, which sounds awesome to me, so I will be downloading it and hopefully posting a couple videos on this channel. Um, basically, that's a pretty high-level game, and I was really shocked last month with Until Dawn's uh, release as a free offering. So things have been going really, really well for PlayStation Plus. I've really enjoyed it, honestly. Second up is uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag Freedom Cry. So just to unwrap that a little bit, <laughs> it's kind of like a ball of yarn. That title's a mouthful. That's basically the DLC content that came with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, Black Flag was like, I think, like a release game, honestly, when the PlayStation 4 came out. But it allows you to play some missions in that open world that, uh, you know, I think Black Flag was the pirate-oriented game in the series. So that looks really promising too, I'll be playing that as well. But yeah, man, I'm really excited about Just Cause 3. I'm like, man, they're really stepping up their game, this is good shit. And lastly, I didn't want this video to be too, too long at all. Um, kind of a PlayStation Pro tip that I don't see u users utilizing enough is if you have PlayStation Plus, always be sure to get the games every single month. Um, definitely put them in your library. As long as you're a subscriber to PlayStation Plus, they will remain in your library. So just because you're claiming the title doesn't mean you have to download it. It doesn't take up any hard drive space. And I mean, why not? I've talked to a couple people and they're, they're kind of like, oh, I wanted to play game X, Y, and Z, but I forgot to order it before the month was up. Well, it's like at the beginning of the month, you should kind of pay attention to that stuff, you know, kind of reserve your slot in your library and then download it when you, whenever you want to play it. Now, of course, PlayStation Plus, you have to be a subscriber to access the content. And if for some reason you let your subscription lapse, you know, you won't have access to those titles. But if you become a member again, you'll be able to use those titles. So that's kind of confusing. Um, I wish I could put that in a better way, but honestly I can't. But I definitely wanted to just post a video, say what's up guys. And um, I should be back with a video on Friday. I've been playing a little bit of Borderlands 2. I think we might bring back some of those uh, series where we talk about weird shit that I find on the internet and that I find interesting. I don't really have a clear game right now that I'm kind of focused on. So until a new multiplayer option comes out, like Call of Duty World War II, or maybe getting back into Battlefield 1 a little bit, uh, low-key, really, really fucking great game. That's a really underrated game, so we might even talk about that in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some, some inside information of what to look forward to for the August PlayStation Plus offerings. Until next time, this is Spearfield7. See you later.